What's going on, guys? Do we have the ability to see into the future and tell you what's going to happen in the cannabis industry before it even happens? We're in the future. I'm allergic to all synthetics. The future. Welp, let's find out in this video. Diving in to the content. Yes, if you remember, if you remember, if you remember, last week or two weeks ago, I told you in this video, popping up above, right here, boom, over my shoulder, that the FDA was beginning to couple along with the DEA and they were going to start cracking down, cracking down on these cannabinoids that were derived from hemp. I told you this was going to happen. It was almost like I've got my ear to the ground just to listening, just to listening, listening to the things and the powers that be, all type of relationships in this connection, in this industry. And I'm telling you guys, I can tell you what's going to happen before it's going to happen. Want to find out for sure? Look, don't mean to toot my own whore, but ba-bam! Look at this, right here. The DEA classifies novel cannabinoids Delta-8 and Delta-9 THCO as controlled substances even when synthesized from legal hemp. Even if it's been synthesized from legal hemp. All of those farm bill loopholes. Man, dude, I told you, I told you two weeks ago this was going to happen. Man, I hope you took the steps necessary. The Drug Enforcement a Administration says that, well, I thought that they were the agency. The Drug Enforcement Administration says that two cannabinoids that have emerged in state markets do not meet the federal definition of legal hemp and are therefore considered illegal controlled substances. Attorney Rod Kite inquired about the legal status of Delta-8 THCO and Delta-9 THCO with the federal agency last year and followed up earlier this month. This is fresh. This happened yesterday. The DEA sent a response letter on Monday saying the two cannabinoids do not occur naturally in the cannabis plant and can only be obtained synthetically and therefore do not fall under the definition of hemp. Bam, bam, bam. If you are in possession, you are now a criminal. Delta 9 THCO and Delta 8 THCO are tetrahydrocannabinols having similar chemical structures and pharmacological activities to those contained in the cannabis plant. The letter to Terrence Booz, chief of the DEA's drug and chemical evaluation section, continued. Kite responded to the DEA's letter in a blog post on Monday, writing that although I do not always agree with the DEA's view on cannabis matters, I agree with this opinion and frankly am not surprised. Look, we don't care what you agree with. We knew, we knew this was going down. This was going to go down. There's been substantial confusion within the cannabis industry since the 2018 Farm Bill legalizing hemp containing up to 0.3% Delta 9 THC on a dry weight basis. Since that reform was enacted, the, martial, the market for natural natural and synthetic cannabinoids has expanded, expanded, uh, more like exploded in states across the country. Literally, you could go online right now and order THCO and they will ship you narcotics. They will ship you narcotics. I'm not even playing. I am not even playing. The DEA officials have indicated that Delta 8 THC products are not controlled substance, so there's a little bit of good news, as long as they're extracted from the natural plant and not synthesized. Rut roll, Raggy. That could be a bit of a problem for all of my people out there doing chemical conversions. A federal appeals court, meanwhile, ruled last year that Delta 8 is not controlled because the Controlled Substances Act only explicitly states that the natural speaks to the natural Delta 9 THC and because federal statute defines hemp as any part of the cannabis plant, including all derivatives, extracts, and cannabinoids and contains less than 0.3% uh, THC by weight. So now you have the DEA saying, look, Delta 8 products are not controlled substances as long as they're not uh, synthesized. But a federal appeals court is saying, no, that's not naturally true because the Controlled Substances Act only explicitly speaks to the Delta 9 THC being a Schedule 1 narcotic. And the federal statute defines hemp as any part of the plant. So that means that if you can find it inside of the plant, then technically, this is a judge, I didn't make this up, a judge says that, well, you know, then that is okay. However, with THCO, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, everybody that's got THCO and 
go ahead and watch that video too because I literally taught people how to make THCO on this channel. Not knowing, of course, I'm not knowing. And I'm not saying that you should disobey any laws or federal regulations or anything like that. That is all for research purposes only, but you can see that one of the uh, materials used inside of the synthesis, synthesis, sorry, inside of the synthesis of THCO is in fact acetic anhydride. Mm. Don't know if you want to be smoking that, but hey, guess what? The entire market blew up shortly after I made that video. And then look, man, I'm telling you guys, join the Discord. You're going to be right in line. Dude, join that Discord. You'll be right in line before anybody even knows it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And before anybody on the YouTube even knew, because I posted a video about them getting ready to crack down, my Discord people, they already knew this was going to happen. We had already been having long conversations with it, and they were prepared. Are you prepared? The DEA's analysis concluded that unlike Delta 9 THC and Delta 8 THC, THCO is not naturally occurring. Cannabinoid. Well, no kidding, because it can only be produced through synthetic processes. It is federally prohibited. The DEA's statement today adds one more layer of analysis to the already crowded patchwork of questions that must be answered to determine whether a hemp product is lawful. Well, there you go. Maybe they just require a cannabinoid by cannabinoid analysis. While the latest statement from the DA does not clarify the legal status of all novel hemp-derived cannabinoids, it does clarify that the DEA believes Delta 9 THCO and Delta 8 THCO are controlled substances. And that means if you are in possession of those or you are selling those online, you could go to jail. And you know what I think? Hey, man, look. I think nothing. I think nothing. I'm just here to report, consult, help in any possible way that I can. But I, guys, I'm, I tried to tell you, I tried to tell you that it is coming. And then you can see what they're basically saying. These congressional, these congressional members and things like that, these law firms, all of these different places are saying, hey, man, uh, we don't really know. We don't really know what to do. Hopefully there's some con congressional action soon to address the legality of all hemp derived products. I told you they were going to begin cracking down on all hemp products that were derived uh, from CBD. You know, all of those psychoactive products that can get you super high. And not only that, but CBNO, all of those different acetates that are coming out there. And if that is not news enough, we got a new study that says vaping cannabinoid acetates leads to ketene formation. Delta-8 THC acetate is a relatively new psychoactive cannabis product that is available online in vape shops across the United States. Yes, it is, since it is currently largely unregulated. Maybe not too much anymore because it contains a similar structure to vitamin E acetate, which has been shown to form the poisonous gas ketene during vaping. We investigated potential ketene formation with the Delta-8 THC acetate as well as two other cannabinoid acetates, CBN acetate and CBD acetate under vaping condition. Ketene was consistently observed in vaped condensates from all three cannabinoid acetates as well as from commercial Delta-8 THC acetate product purchased. Where was it purchased? Where was it purchased? <laughs> Ooh, it was purchased online. Boy, that's crazy. You could get drugs delivered to your door in the United States of America. If anybody's wondering, what is ketene? Well, ketene is a colorless, poisonous gas of penetrating odor used especially as an acetylating agent. Also, any various derivatives of this compound. Not only is it completely illegal, not only is it completely illegal per the DEA, but also, vaping said cannabinoids can create serious harmful effects like ketene that is going to produce a poisonous, colorless gas that you are inhaling into your lungs. Is that something that you want to do? I don't know. I have no idea. And I've tried to be consistent about any SOP that I show you guys to tell you like, yo, this is chemistry, but there is not a lot of medical research on all of these synthetic cannabinoids that are being produced right now. And some of them could be harmful to you. The best thing that you can do if you need to take medicine, if you need that holistic approach, is to use the cannabis and the hemp plant as it naturally occurs. Extract it, post-produce it. Guys, if you don't know how to do that, I would highly highly encourage you to start learning that information now start getting into educational groups i don't care what it is but start learning how to do things the right way because the government 
is going to legalize. Man, I told you, didn't I foretell that this was going to happen? I told you, man, the government is going to legalize marijuana, recreational marijuana, at least medicinal marijuana. They are going to do it, okay? But all of those other things that you find, those synthetically derived cannabinoids, they are going to start cracking down on those in the meantime. I'm telling you, it is coming. It is happening. Please be careful. Please be safe. I will do my best on this channel to give you guys all of that information in real time. And if you join me anywhere else, maybe you find out before everyone else does. So that's all that I've got for you today. It has been a blessing, a privilege, nay, an honor to be able to teach and consult with you guys today. We'll see you in the next crazy video. Peace out.